Here's a quick tip on dealing with Pro Tools if playback doesn't start or doesn't start right away. In some cases, when you hit play, Pro Tools just won't start. Sometimes you'll see this play transport command. Just kind of blink, think for a second, or stop. Start by making sure your timeline location is located somewhere where there's some program material to be heard, like the beginning of your song. If, for example, my start location was at the end of the song, obviously nothing would play. Also be sure to watch the counter to see if numbers are rolling by. Next, in your transport controls, make sure that Sync Online is not selected. If this is blinking blue, it means that Pro Tools is waiting for an external timecode source, like another sequencer, or a standalone hard disk recorder, or other machine, to send timecode into Pro Tools for it to start. In most cases, you want this not to be on. Next, we'll want to take a look at the floating transport window. Now, you'll notice this transport window is very much like the transport on your edit window. In fact, the controls are the same, but there are some expanded options. Most of the time, you'll want to make sure that pre-roll is not on, and then we can expand the view. What we want to look at here is MIDI controls. If count off is enabled and you hit play, Pro Tools won't play until a predetermined count off is complete. This relates to your click track or metronome. So you'll notice that if I try it again, I'm going to get two bars of metronome ticks before Pro Tools plays. So start by having count off disabled. Another control to check would be this wait for note option. This means that Pro Tools will not start playing until an external MIDI note triggers playback or record. So make sure that's off. One more thing you can try is go to the option menu and disable loop playback. Sometimes that stops normal playback, especially if a very short selection is highlighted in Pro Tools. If these suggestions don't help, try opening another session or even exiting or quitting Pro Tools and reopening it. Typically, one of these tweaks gets Pro Tools playing properly. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.